Hello, my name's Chris Jacobs and engineering group HES stores. And I'll lead you through the changing of the direction of a gear pump. The position of the drive and driven gears need to be reversed. The inlet and outlet ports do not change with the bush block being replaced in the original position. You will need a ratchet, socket and a torque wrench and a soft faced hammer may be needed to help remove the front cover from the dowel pins. Before starting, make sure all keys and any circlip are removed to prevent damage to the shaft seal and any circlip groove covered with a sleeve. Soft jaws should be used. Fit two short bolts or pins to retain the rear cover in position. The rear covers on these SNP2 pumps have two dowels, so the pump, as long as you hold the pump together, the rear cover won't move. So invert the pump, holding pump together, place it shaft up on the bench and remove the front cover. Being careful you don't lose the two dowels. To release it from the dowels. Separate the shaft and bush block. Reverse position of the driven gear. Replace drive gear and place the bush block back in its original position. If the pump has seals in the front and rear covers like the Torola SMP2, the front cover must be replaced. Clockwise covers are marked with a D and anti-clockwise with an S. The rear cover must be in its original position. Hold the pump together and grip the front cover in the vise. Slide off rear cover or if dowelled lift off carefully and check that all seals are correctly located. Replace rear cover and torque bolts in a diagonal pattern to the manufacturer's value. Check pump rotates and if stiff or seized check for trap seals. Finally remark with directional arrow and new part number. 